Okay, so we have our north arrow set. Uh, let's go ahead and go over to our match lines tab. And here's where you can uh, format your match lines. Uh, first of all, select the checkbox next to the um, items that you want to display. So we'll enable our plan line. We want to actually show our plan line. Um, our start and stop stations will be displayed. And let's display what the previous sheet and the next sheet number is. Um, over here you can edit your prefix, the text, uh, next sheet number, uh, and that's just station, station. Uh, if you click on the plan line, this will just extend the plan line all the way out to your boundary. Uh, in this case, uh, would we do 300 feet wide on each side, or if you choose this, you just custom distance if you want. Uh, we'll we'll cl keep it to clipping boundary. And so let's go back to our main tab. And we should be ready to create our sheets. Uh, let's just double check. Start on our main tab, method, plan only, uh, plan views, station limits. We're going to generate sheets. Our horizontal alignment is created or selected. Our start and stop stations, our length. Let's go to our plan controls. Nested attachments is enabled. Uh, these settings, 300, 300, 10 foot overlap. Yeah, I like to make sure those are enabled. Sheet layout, we have our host file, our seed file, our single sheet file, our alignment layout. Let's go to our view layout and our insertion point here. And our scale, 1 to 50. Uh, 1 inch equals 50 feet is what our sheets are going to be. Border and title. There's our border reference file. Title block file. Uh, 50 scale. Symbols and details. There's our north arrow, our insertion point. Um, 25 and 22. That's probably somewhere around the top right corner of the sheet, somewhere at the towards the top right. Symbols and details, uh, match lines. Okay, looks like we're ready to go. Well, with all that selected then, let's just go ahead and click apply. And you can see in the background the sheets are being created. I'll wait a couple seconds. And it looks like it's done. So let's come up here to this sheet index tab. And looks like it created six sheets. So let's select sheet number one. I'll click show sheet. And oh, we have our little copies of our title block. Um, and inroads automatically places your view in the right location because when you create your title block, you have to create the bottom left corner at at the origin at zero zero when you create your title block. Uh, let's look at our various fields and you see they've been automatically populated. Uh, project number, scale, one inch equals fifty. Yeah, we could probably format that text a little better. Uh, sheet number one of six. Uh, sheet number one and it inroads automatically detected how many sheets there are, in this case six. So let me, uh, there's our north arrow, right about where we thought it would be. Let me expand this and let's look at another sheet. Let's look at sheet number three. I'll click show sheet. And let's zoom in a little bit. And there's our sheet three of six, automatically created. And let's look at our match lines. And it says previous sheet number two. And we're on sheet number three. Now let's scroll over to the other end. 
Look at our other match line. Next sheet, number four. And we're on sheet number three. So, everything appears to be in order. Let me go ahead and expand that again. And this view definition, view definition file name, I'm going to go ahead and save the, uh, I'm going to click save as. I'm going to save these as a new uh, view definition file, plan views, uh, plan views 1, I guess I'll call it. And I'll save that, and that way we can bring up these views again, uh, which is particularly helpful when you want to create your uh, plan and profile sheets as well. So let me close out of that, and that's how to create your plan sheets with the plan and profile generator.